Hey, what is up guys? My name is Andy. Welcome to the show. Finally, we have the review for two San Martin watches. You guessed it, the Explorer watches from San Martin. One is the 39 millimeter in diameter limited edition. And the other one is the 36 millimeter in diameter, the Explorer 369 dial. And uh, we're going to take a look into these watches, both watches and compare them and review them and talk about how they look on the wrist, how they feel and which one is best for you. I think that the limited edition is not available yet, but you can get this one with the vintage dial 369 and you can get it right now. It's a limited edition too with the blue dial, but I don't like that one. So without further ado, let's get into it. So these watches are amazing. Both are very well made. The hands, the applied logo, the indices. These watches look so clean. I was very impressed with the quality and overall construction. The bracelet is super smooth in both of these watches. Very well brush finished and the clasp, the clasp is incredible. Very comfortable, small and super secure. And actually it has a curved meal clasp that suits your wrist very well. Case-wise, with the 39mm limited edition, has a more true to Rolex style and shape. Very curvy lines, super rounded sides, and it has a 20mm lock width and a small crown that if I compare it to my Rolex OP, it's almost the same. Just almost. Dome sapphire crystal that looks good, but it kind of mixes vintage with modern style watches. Overall, it looks well suited for the watch. The dial is not a traditional Explorer 369, Instead, this version has the Surveyor style dial that has the applied indices and a maxi style dial. Very big and super legible. Talking about legibility, in the dark, this watch excels incredible. BGW9 Super Luminova, and it glows blue like the chromolite from Rolex. Size and wearability, with the 39mm in diameter, seems that this watch would look big on your wrist. For your reference, my wrist is 6.7 inches, or 17 centimeters, and I think this watch wears beautifully. Once I got the chance to compare it to a Rolex Explorer 39, and they were kind of the same. And my wrist looks great, comfortable, easy to wear, not that heavy, and it looks good. One thing that I would say is that the dial seems a bit big but this is just me nitpicking. The movement of this watch is a Seiko NH35. I know, it surprised me too. I wish this had the PT5000, but in the end, you get the old trusty Seiko. So quiz spec check, 39 millimeters in diameter, a lock to lock of 48 millimeters, the lock width is 20 millimeters, the thickness is 12 millimeters, including that box sapphire crystal, 100 meters of water resistance, a screw down crown, and the bracelet goes from 20 millimeters to 16 millimeters, back up to 17 millimeters at the clasp. It has a fully milled clasp and a very well done screw pins. Of course, for easy removal of links. Okay, so off we go with the Explorer 36 millimeter. The case is 36 millimeters in diameter. This watch, it has a case shape more like a Tudor Black Bay 36 instead of an Explorer, a Rolex Explorer. The crown also reminds me of a Black Bay 36. Big and easy to grab. This 36 millimeter watch looks amazing on the wrist. Actually, it feels more like a 38 millimeters than a 36 millimeter watch. I think it's because of the more blocky, less rounded case that makes the watch looks bigger. The dial is exactly the same matte black dial as the 39 mm version, but this one has printed indices and with the 369, but the dial is so crisp and well printed. It uses BGW9 Super Luminova, but the brightness of the loom does not quite get there. 
with the 39mm version. Wearing the watch feels a lot like the 39, just a bit lighter. Same comfortability, even better because of the difference in weight. This Explorer homage feels super modern compared with the 39mm version. This watch has a flat sapphire crystal and it does not have an ultra reflective coating, so it reflects light like crazy. I remember my Blackbeat 36 used to look like that. The movement of this watch is the PT5000, which is a clone of, of the Swiss ETA movement. This watch in particular has been taking great time between minus four plus six seconds a day. Quick spec check, 36 millimeters in diameter, lock to lock 45 millimeters, lock width is 20 millimeters, tapering down to 16, back up to 17 millimeters at the clasp. 11 millimeters of thickness, 100 meters of water resistance with a screw down crown, and it has a fully milled clasp and screw pins. Well, that's been it for today, guys. Thank you, thank you for watching. And let me know in the comments down below, which one would you go for? Do you like the 39 millimeters or the 36 millimeters? Do you like the rounded case or the more boxy case? Do you like flat sapphire crystal or do you like box sapphire crystal? Uh, they have a lot of differences. These this watches have a lot of differences. And I think that uh, both are great, but I really, really like the 36 millimeter because it just looks so much modern. And actually it reminds me a lot of my Black Bay 36. So let me know in the comments down below, which one would you go for? And remember guys to like this video and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And remember guys, I am Andy and I'll be here spending time watching time.